What's up, y'all? It's Chef Chester Chambers with Bloom Foods. Um, myself and Paige Daniels went out to Manati, Puerto Rico um, to visit Frutos del Guacabo, a local co-op out there. We got a tour from um, the owner, Efram David, and we're just going to jump right into it and show you the cool stuff that we saw and learned. So let's get it. Yeah, yeah. So in these two areas, we completely, we constantly change the ground. Okay. Today, we, we pull out some beans from there. Mm -hmm. They're called uh, dragon tongue. Mm -hmm. they, we usually oh, buy them from the purple one. Yeah, the purple yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that we collect that, that soil is full with nitrogen. Because uh -huh. the beans fix that right, into the soil. Right, so that's right. like the first step of the cycle. These are called pequino. This harvest is them now. They come in like two colors. They're usually good for pickling. Uh -huh. But you can eat them like that raw well too. Oh, delicious. Ooh. When you put some acid. Is it hot? No. no. Very, very <laughs> well, it's mostly when you put Flavor. it in acid, it just mm. blends out and mm. it's, it's a, like a tapa type of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So oh we God. integrate flowers. Mm -hmm. This type of flowers not only are beautiful, but also the also provides the, the coverage for the other plants around. Right, right. We also have chichito peppers. Oh yeah. We've been, there you go. Oh yeah. Those are all over the menu right now in Houston yeah. at all the restaurants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Flavor. And you know the plants are very happy uh -huh. in here with the soil that we have so that's mm -hmm. one of the things that we try to encourage. Everything in here has to make sense. For right. example, you saw, you see those uh, hay mm -hmm. in there is to block the wind. Mm -hmm. okay. It's the same principle as that passion fruit on the fence. Oh wow, okay. I'm so close <laughs> to the water where you get a lot of yeah, wind and yeah, they yeah. break your plants so right, you have to right. kind of work around that. This is called blue tie. I don't know if you guys are using this in Houston, but the New York Times says that it was going to be like the heat of 2020 before, yeah, yeah, before yeah. we right, got right, right. hell out. You know? <laughs> so this is very important because it's an antioxidant. Mm -hmm. It's also very happy sitting where it's at. But the main thing is that it's a colorful flower, meaning that if you want to do a drink, it will, you can mm. put that drink blue, for example. Oh, okay. mm. And when you hit it with citric or acid, mm -hmm. it will change to pink. So that interaction oh, between the bartender wow. and right, the, right, it's, right. it's really neat. You can also paint like the, the rice blue mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. gaining really? all the benefits from the yeah. plant as well. Yeah. So it's been providing flowers for over a year. So wow. that's wow. kind of the test we do. So right now, we're kind of letting it grow. We stopped uh, having tourism about six, four, six months ago. So now we're trying to mm -hmm. establish everything in the background. Yeah, we grow different hibiscus in, in uh, Houston, like the Roselle. Yeah. You know, with the actual pods, yeah. and then they'll eat the sour yeah. greens too. Yeah, those, they come in, in different. They don't, they don't have flowers yet. Oh, okay, they flower too? Yeah, they, okay. they, they, they flower too. So this is called Guanabana. Sour stuff. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So the the fresh leaves uh -huh. are used to make tea, uh -huh. and they say they're good for like cancer. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's very, it's a very good plant. The fruit is like it's very sweet, mm -hmm. but the texture is kind of different. Mm -hmm. It's like a cotton candy type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys familiar with plantain? Yeah. yeah but yeah. have you seen the tree? Uh, we've seen the banana, not the plantain. It's similar, yeah, it's right? Kind of, yeah, it's kind of similar. Uh -huh. So the way that it goes is that you have one plant mm -hmm. and it provides the fruit. Uh -huh. Then you cut that one and you have two more. Oh, really? So you take oh. the, the, you uh -huh. leave one in there yeah. and you take the, the sons or lo, uh -huh. ilo, como le dicen, uh -huh. ¿verdad? And you take that and you put it and you continue to grow. So okay. that's kind of the cycle of the plantain, which is the same as the banana. Yeah. We, we got this one, I seven or eight years ago. About a chef that they wanted to do micro amarantas. Okay. And we did it and it came out great. Uh -huh. But we find out that the pest likes the, the amaranth, so we put it around the plants uh -huh. so, so we can obtain a better, better view. This plant is about four years old. Right. When Maria came, it was all the way to the end. Oh, really? That's why the fence came down. Uh -huh. Everything in here has two, two stages before and after. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. We have the exact same thing in Houston. Yeah, right. All the farmers have their stories. So this is called Habanadas. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Road 7. They, mm -hmm. they work with stone barns in New York. Mm -hmm. And they're a farm that does an habanero that they remove the spicy portion. <laughs> I was like, hold on. <laughs> so it's kind of cool because people come oh and take God. pictures. Yeah, so yeah. when you uh, blanch it out with, mm -hmm. like, fill with goat mm -hmm. cheese inside, mm -hmm. it's, it's, mm. it's really nice. You know what I mean? It's, it has the punch of the habanero, but right. not the spice. Right, it's great flavor. So kind of that, and that's like, we're going to pull it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we've been doing it for about six, seven months, and it, it, it adapts very well. As you can see, Oh, the pest is eating the leaves. Right. We also sell the, the flower as a comestible or a garnish, right? Okay. We haven't right, get right. to the main thing, which is the grain. Yet. Yeah. We haven't get to that. We, we're looking forward to it, but it's a power food, super food. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely. This plant. So you use the red as the garnish? Yeah. You can eat the leaves too? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the pest eat the leaves, yeah, the yeah. animal eat the leaves, mm -hmm. they're hard on fiber and protein, so mm -hmm. we maximize that as well. We got it all over the place. Uh, I don't know if you've seen a turmeric or a curcuma. I've never had seen one. So that's, that's the... Let's try and We've been working with it for about six, seven years. This is called kafir. Oh, okay. It's mostly like lime, for right? Thai. Yeah, it's mostly mm. for Thai. Mm. They use the leaves more than they use the fruit. Really? Because it's more mostly for soups and mm -hmm. all this. Mm -hmm. Bringing out the flavor is very nice. Yeah, that's delicious. We saw so much in like not any space at all. Yeah. This section, we started with that small lab in our house. Oh, okay. Just trying to practice it. Yeah. Uh, if you can get it and we finally use it. They caught a butterfly pea. Looks like a butterfly, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Try that. <laughs> it's like oxalis, right? Oxalis. Oh my gosh, yes, delicious. It is oxalis. I had no clue you could eat these. Yeah. My friend loves them on her like garden. Yeah. And usually <laughs> we use that for salads and this for like cocktails. Yeah, that flower is delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, we like to I would say play with your senses, right? Understand how the, the Puerto Rican uh, food is very complex. Uh -huh. it, a lot of flavors mm -hmm. and, and it, it, that's uh, oregano. Oh, it's wonderful. And this is another type of oregano. You can just mm -hmm. smell it so you can understand how, how powerful that is. That's mm -hmm. kind of powerful. Wow. Uh -huh. It's uh, capuchinas, we call it in Spanish, or nastortium. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we usually do a lot of them. They're, they're great in um, the pepperish flavor that they provide. Mm -hmm. mm, my wife was looking for commercial flowers, and we got into it. It's called lemon drop. Uh, we call it lemon drop in like half of it. Okay. And this is a pretty cool experience because it's going to activate sensors in your mouth. It kind of, it plays around with your mouth for about two hours, two, uh, two minutes. Oh my god. It's going to <laughs> pop up, you see yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's going to, at the end, it's going to be refreshing. We use it as a sort of or a dry mm -hmm. drink, such as martinis. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? It's originally from Brazil. And it's what we call brujo. Which means that it grows everywhere. This is uh, sugar. You are asking me earlier. And the peppers are not really rough. They're real rough. Everybody's in the stomach. Yeah. yeah. This is what I, on my first burger, I was putting these, these sorrels on. Yeah, yeah, it's my top. Nice, very nice. What kind of ghost do you have? Mm -hmm. Production or higher production? Lower production, but higher fat. Yeah, right, right, right. And as far as rabbits, you know, we, we keep it global. Uh, I can't hear the people. So what we 
they try to do is mostly provide rabbits to the farmers uh -huh. so they can produce. See, these are better genetics and we try to uh -huh. improve the genetics. Okay. Oh, okay. you gotta hold this. <laughs> oh. Scratching. Hey. <laughs> This design that you see here, that we have the goats on top and then we put chickens underneath and the chickens bring out the compost and they lay the eggs on this side. Wow. So it kind of let, allow you to use yeah. one segment and the chickens are very important in the ecosystem because they eat what are easily there. Yeah. So the, the pests and that. Wow. As you see, we put them in good colors. So we put them in cages and we would try to make their life as better as possible. They spend half of the year climbing, which is what they love, and they work half of the year eating everything. That's their first response on the way. So the cilantro is like kind of uh, yellow, it goes to them. The lettuce goes to them, so they eat better than you like. We change the male every year. They get milk once a day by uh -huh. hand, uh -huh. machines. So uh, you can milk them twice a day, but we like to. Milk them. And one trick is that they love this mango. Mm -hmm. If you smell them, it smells like mango, so they are in love with it. This is good. Oh, they are kind of like. They love it. <laughs> they have their own personality. <laughs> we start with one goat, then two goats, and uh, we have two more. Yeah. <laughs> how many do you have now? Do you know? So this is how this works. It's like a pump. Mm -hmm. You have to close your two fingers on mm -hmm. top and fill the pump and then squeeze. When you squeeze uh, and it's empty, then you let it go and you do it again. See, they slow down. So they slow down. Yeah. And then squeeze with the other three fingers. Uh, there you there go. You go. Feel? Boom! There you go. Wow. Keep the two fingers locked in on top. Like if you're doing pastry, there you go. And you hold the bottom. And then let, let it go. Back up, yeah, let it fill back up. There you go. And then the two fingers in the bottom. <laughs> squeeze it. <laughs> squeeze it. You not squeeze it. <laughs> there you go. I gotta get it myself once. <laughs> wow. So it requires a lot of effort to do them now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Them, but they oh, wow. don't fly away, so we oh, put okay. them inside, like with the horse, uh -huh. and they just eat whatever is on the floor oh, and they maintain okay. that. Okay. Okay. They do the housekeeping. <laughs> uh, guava. Oh, okay. This is uh, sweet pepper yam. Mm. This in here are the quail Pickle eggs. Uh, we preserve mm. with the flour with the bush. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness. And these are radishes uh -huh. from the farm too, and it's also, yeah, so feel free to 